come charging out onto the field. Gary Jack at fullback, the same back line who played against Cronulla last Saturday afternoon. Let's see how the, the combination of Neil and Gale can perform uh, in the half this week. But there's where Balmain have been so successful this year. That mighty back row, coached by Billy Anderson. They're certainly going to give the Roosters plenty of hurry up this afternoon. Well, for the first time on television this year, let's look at this side who uh, we've read so much about but haven't had the chance to see yet. I'll be certainly interested to see how Hall goes at 5'8", the former Canberra junior, and those two magnificent wingers, Callis and Morris, who have speed to burn. The Eastern Suburbs forwards, a lot will rest on that back row. Tobin, Gilmeister and McGahn, and their particular uh, uh, endurance battle with the Balmain back row. The referee this afternoon is Graham Annesley, and we're going that Milrose had actually slotted into 5 8 and Hall was in it inside centre, so we've seen uh, a little bit of uh, a switch around in both back lines early on. There's the kick from Milrose. I think it's going away to the left. It is. It's no goal. So play will restart with the dropout from the centre of the Balmain quarter line. Got a let off for the tie. Meters of the line. Hastings moves into dummy half. It's been really all east in the opening 15 minutes as the ball comes across from Hastings to McGahn. McGahn, can he get there? He's close. He's there. Try. Easter in front. 4 0. And boy, don't they deserve it, David. They've been keeping this ball alive, mixing it with some very heavy defence. But the forwards running under the ball are no better than their skipper, McGahn. Plenty of power. The ball came out wide, a little run round with Melrose. Hastings, beautiful ball, went through the gap. Now he throws a dummy here, and really, Neil took that dummy, and he had enough power. Now you'll see the ball come out here, that's the run round. Horry Hastings sets it through, he gets through the gap. Now it's just a little dummy, Neil goes, oops, and that's enough. He gets over, good try. Well, Hugh McGann, his nickname's Paddles, would you believe? Uh, I think 26, and he's, he's represented New Zealand since 1982, and performances like that would certainly see him back on the New Zealand side. Here's Melrose, the chance to add the extras, hits the uprights and bounces back into the field of play, and that's a costly miss. My word, David. That's two fairly simple, well, one definitely simple shot. I know they say it's never easy with the football. The Eastern Suburbs line. Can he hold out into a dummy half again as Elias? Back the open side, it's Gale. On it goes to Hanrahan. He's passed by Pierce, and Pierce is in. They have to score eventually, it's 4-0. Oh boy, David, we're in for a great game. No two ways about that. Both sides are going to swing this ball about. Keep it allowed wide. Beautiful ball. Elias out to Gale to the centre hand round. Who did magnificently well. But that's the difference between a chance and a good chance. Having a man backing up the man with a ball. Ball out wide. Gale hand round the centre. Now watch him scoop it round. Good thinking. But it's Johnny on the spot. A skipper's play there, getting himself into the position. That was try time. Wayne Pierce's first try of the season, but it just shows what Balmain can do when they hold onto the ball and keep it alive. They threw the possession away in the first. Terrible knee injury that he suffered last year, and of course that cost him the kangaroo tour. But he's been in scintillating form recently. Radar boot will add the extras simply, and he does. And it's six points to four in favour of Balmain over Eastern Suburbs. Wayne Pierce, who's down and who's... Uh, I think it might be Elias. It's uh, Benny Elias who's down and he's not very well at the moment. Obviously an off-the-ball incident. Well, let's see if we can see something on the replay. Now, here's the ball spilt out as it goes up. Now, Elias has been off the ball. Well, I think you can see there that Elias did something to somebody and somebody has squared it. That's what it is. Now then, do they have the toss of a coin and say who's going to have a spell in the sin bin? Well, there's no doubt how it started. Well, I think you can safely say that Benny Boy will have a hidden smile underneath the exterior of the New Zealand to Gary Prom. Eastern Suburbs obviously working to try to pull in the defence and then get the ball out, out wide. Spinner on to Melrose, and it's a beautiful pass out to Gilmeister, and Gilmeister's in. That was beautiful football by the Roosters. Good forward play, good constructive football. And it was only really a matter of time. And there he is, the man.
run that they call the axe. This is how they get the ball out wide. Beautiful pass to spin, and now Melrose holds it up. And the axe certainly swung it into action and swayed his way through. Tip off the old block for the try. Tremendous football. And they fully deserve it. They bounce back. They're looking ragged. What's this beautiful ball from Melrose? And here he goes, bouncy, bouncy, and just hands off at the right minute, uses his weight. Great try. Trying to give Trevor Gilmaster there, the former Brisbane North player, and uh, now eight points for the season, two tries. The father takes the money from uh, the Queenslanders, eh? Well, here's Melrose moving in for the conversion. And then... Well, there it is, two more points. As we still have problems. Gremlins on the line. And the Eastern Suburbs deservedly going the other side. And that uh, just to cause that slight problem. So at half time, as the siren goes in the background, we're going to see Eastern Suburbs go in leading against Balmain by 10 points to six. It was uh, two tries scored by Eastern Suburbs in the first half. And the two good tries too. In fact, the first of them was scored by their second rower, Hugh McGann. The other second rower, Trevor Gilmeister, scored their second try. And uh, the goal kicked by Tony Melrose brought up Eastern Suburbs 10 points. Balmain's try scored by their lock forward and captain, Wayne Pearce, and it was converted by Ross Condon. Half time, it's the Roosters leading the Tigers by 10 points to six. We'll be back for the second half. But for he had a great week. Gee, has, he comes good around Easter time every year. As Conlon comes in, there's the kick at goal from uh, the Balmain centre, and he's added the two points. And so Balmain are the first ones to register points in the second half. Balmain and now... And Portlock's got within 11 metres of the Balmain line. Eastern Suburbs charging back at the Tigers. Again, they're going from Dummy Harbour's Morris. Morris has got his pass to Portlock. Portlock will send it away. It's out to Tessman, and Tessman's 11 metres away. Portlock back to Spina. Spina on his own. Spina will go close. Spina's in! Try! Great, great football from Eastern Suburbs. 14 points to 8 to score. How long can they keep this up, David? Both sides, but full credit to the Roosters. Once again, they keep the ball alive. And you can hand it to that man there with the ball. He's the man where it all started. Tony Melrose made the position for this passage of play. Portlock, who's been involved in everything today, swings the ball out wide. There we see Tessman. Tessman uses his strength. Portlock again, switched to Spina. Spina throws the dummy, switches inside, leaves it to Hemsley. And that really wasn't good thinking by Brooks. Watch the ball inside. This is beautiful play. Portlock switches, goes out across. There's Tessman using the strength. Look how he holds him, attracts four to them. Portlock switches again. Now watch the dummy. Whoops! Sorry, Mr. Brooks. A good handoff and a great try. Well, now we're about to see Tony Melrose at the extras. There's the kick. It's two more points, and Tony Melrose has sent the Roosters away, and they now lead by 16 points to eight, so Balmain have to score twice reasons why Balmain are behind on the scoreboard. They're just missing too many tackles and dropping too many balls. As Hall gets under an attempted high tackle, Spina out wide again, off the left foot, back it goes to Hastings, but it goes to Prone. They should score. Prone! Prone's in! No double movement, says the referee. Well, did his momentum carry him or not? We'll get a good chance to see it. The referee said no. Prone made the movement. Well, I think you made the bad decision here. He should have gone for the wingman or the wingman should have come inside he's definitely grounded good Caught decision from Graham Annesley certainly is caught a loose boot to boot for his troubles he was in a gaping big hole if he'd put the big fellow in that gap it would have been curtains for Balmain blindside Portlock the shot at Phil goal that one's there one more point to the Roosters Eastern Suburbs in front by 17 points to eight the field goal kicked by fullback Wayne Portlock. Also simple down. That kick comes off at an Eastern Suburbs player. They're picked up by Gary Brown. Brown racing away, but the referee's going to call it back. Well, now, was that a rebound or would the player actually try to play at the ball? And that's what it comes back to. Well, I thought it was a charge down. 
see the ball coming up here. Now you see Elias there. No, it wasn't a charge down. Correct decision by the referee. Big Kiwi is going to go very close to scoring. He's got within about four metres of the line. Patterson keeps it going. It's with Spina. Spina throws the dummy on his own. It goes to Milrose. But the referee is going to call it back for a forward pass. Well, it was certainly worth the try. And this Spina has been here, there and everywhere. He often gets criticised for keeping the ball far too long. They won't say that today. He scored a vital try. He tried to get the ball away. Obviously, for Hastings, well, he looks as if he's exhausted too. As Morris gets that ball, but Hastings, he's had a great game. And Morris has managed to get clear. He's up over the halfway. He's down towards the quarter line. Jack giving chase, and Jack's got him. What a tackle. What a run from the little winger. Eastern Suburbs continue and going. That's Hall. It's away to Portlock. Portlock away to Spina. And Spina's chopped down. Only 11 metres away from the Balmain line. It's Hardy into dummy half. They'll continue the same way. No, they go the blind. It's Portlock. And Portlock's tackled. Only six metres out from the Balmain line. Eastern Suburbs right on the boil again. And they go from dummy half through Hardy. He's got the pass back to Melrose. Melrose will score. Melrose is in. That's the ball game. The Boosters are undefeated at the top of the Winfield Cup. It's 21 points to eight. And they've certainly dispelled all those doubters. Believe you me, there's Big Artie. Will he smile? Come on, Artie, give us one. No, he's too, in, too involved in the game. And let's, let's not take anything away from him because he certainly had a lot. It was great football. Good backup. And this is what it's all about, having players there. The defence is shot to ribbons. Melrose realises it. And this has been the story of the day, running from dummy half and still getting the ball away. Here we see the gap appearing, and it was a case of you take it, you fill in, and an easy try. Well, Tony Melrose, he's been just about everywhere. And if the Roosters can keep this up, David, keep the momentum going, who knows? Here comes Melrose, there's the kick, and he's hit the uprights again. That's two kicks today where he's hit the uprights. So it could easily have been 25. It's 21 points to eight. And here's the Eastern Suburbs supporters. They're the most enthusiastic bunch of supporters in the competition. It's just a pity there aren't 20,000 of them because they just about pack any ground they go to it the way they're playing football at the moment. We've got at least two Balmain players have been hanging on to him. And that's been the story of the day, as well as the errors, the fact that the Roosters have kept the ball alive. There it is. So there's the, the score. Eastern Suburbs defeating Balmain by 21 points to eight. And Eastern Suburbs well and truly just too strong for the Tigers this afternoon. And so they remain the only undefeated side in the Winfield Cup competition. Balmain suffering their first loss of the the. 1987 competition the details of this afternoon's performance for Balmain they're eight points Pierce one try and Conlon two goals but for the victors Eastern Suburbs the spoils McGahn Gilmeister Spina and Melrose tries Melrose two goals and two attempted goals which hit the uprights and Portlock a field goal so a good performance from the Eastern Suburbs Roosters one which was thoroughly deserved a good victory Mike Stevenson Certainly.